This is the life. I know. If only the rest of the day could be like this. Imagine how much better it'd be if we were really in Hawaii. Hello? Hey, Hacksaw. Club Zero Grand opening? Is it cool that I bring a guest? Sweet. I'll be there. What was that about? Any interest in being my plus one at the kickoff party for Club Zero? There'll be blue king crab legs, hot party girls, oh, and famous actresses. Bro, you had me a blue king crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> Idea. Well, he just took our picture. Wonder why. Miss it like gumbo, the Romeo show. Competition, I crumble, I mean, I can't be stopped. I will not quit, cause me and the man made straight up hits. So, adi adi yo, adi adi ro. It's time for the Romeo show, where kids have fun. Education gets some peer pressure, ain't nothing real life outcome. Soda. You guys want one? I'll take two. Performing makes me thirsty. <laughs> two sodas, please. How you doing? Hey, you're that weird guy who keeps taking pictures of Romeo. Right on both counts. He's cool. Just ask him for a photo. He'll probably even autograph it for you. Yeah. Seem to know him pretty well. He's my best friend. Oh, he's your uh, friend, huh? Best friend. Campo. Seattle Music Beat Magazine? <sighs> Never heard of it. We're new, okay? Got that uh, sleeve behind the stars column everyone reads? <laughs> Never read it. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, kid. What's your name? Riley. Riley Morrison. Oh, Riley. Guess it hasn't happened yet. What hasn't happened? Romeo hasn't forgotten your name. What are you talking about? Oh, seen it before. Young kid on his way to stardom. Today, you're Riley Morris and Romeo's best friend. A couple weeks from now, you're uh, Riley who? You know, eventually he'll start making excuses as to why he can't hang out with you anymore. Romeo's not like that. Right. Huh. He's the one in a million that's different. Listen, Riley, you got any juicy info on uh, Romeo? I pay cash. So far, all I got is he goes to school, rides a bike, likes to hang out with people his own age. Not exactly the kind of stuff I can take to my editors. Ah, heck. May as well get something out of this relationship before he dumps you. Not gonna happen. Rue and I are like this. Right. Shaq had Kobe. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Bobby's wearing hip toddler clothing. Yeah, isn't it cute? I got it from my baby shower. Cute? How could anything produced from the labor of an underpaid sweatshop worker be cute? I didn't know. <laughs> I have a list of manufacturers who use unfair business practices. Learned it in my ethics class. I'll make a copy for all of you. Don't bother killing a tree for me. I get it. You got mental. Well, look, I made your favorite. Try to beef. Ooh, I don't eat meat. Since when? Since I became a vegan. A vegan? I thought you were born in Seattle. No, Louis. A vegan means I don't eat anything that has ever had a mother. Well, I do, so uh, let's get this beef on the table. Do you know what happens to that poor cow just so that he can wind up cooked on your plate? No, not really. And I'd like to keep it that way. Well, look. <laughs> Ta-da. I also Ooh. made mashed potatoes. Ooh. Did you make that with milk? Yeah. Milk comes from cows and... Sh <sighs> it's not your fault. You just didn't know any better. And so I'm here to fix it. Oh, boy. Luckily, I have some granola cashew bars for everyone. It's great. <laughs> Welcome back, Jody. Hey, bro, I need your honest opinion. Do these go with my whole check me out? I'm the preppy but hip dude vibe. OK, don't say it all and then some. <laughs> Thanks. I figured I needed a new pair of kicks for the Club Zero grand opening. Oh, yeah, about that. It can't go. What? Here it comes. This is gonna be a lame excuse. Well, the PR lady called me, and her nephew just had foot surgery. And? It's a long story, but I gotta take him. Sorry, bro. Sure. He's the one in a million that's different. OK, uh, no worries. Hey. So you want to shoot hoops after school? Can't. Gotta get my hair braided before the limo shows up. A limousine? Yeah, they're sitting in the limo. I told you this would happen. Be quiet! Ask him where he's getting his hair done. Riley, where's he getting his hair done? What? I mean, you. Where are you getting your hair done? Nate's. Same place you go to. Riley who? <laughs> and this happens when I'm getting my hair done. Romeo, relax. Nobody reads Seattle Music Beat magazine. <laughs> I guess the circulation's up. This is out of control. I want my privacy. I mean, how does this guy even know where I was? You know, I did see him hand Riley's business card at Club's Great. So? So, do I have to paint a picture? Do the math. Riley would never tell anyone where I was. That's my dog. I hope you guys are hungry. Dinner's almost ready. Uh, we gotta go wash our hands. Yeah, they're really dirty. And my tickets are well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Do you know what's going on down there? Jody's making dinner. Oh, man, it doesn't look like anything someone should eat. Okay, just listen, you guys. This is really important to your sister. She's growing up, she's embracing new ideas. All college kids go through this. So it's our job as the loving, supportive family to be loving and supportive. OK, you got it. Now let's go eat. Wow, OK, Jody, this is, this is interesting. I knew you'd like it. Dig in. So, what do you think? Yeah, uh... Delicious, yeah. It's great. Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> great. Yeah. Have some more. Hey, Lou. Have you seen Riley anywhere? Yeah, we just had Spanish together. Why? I've been trying to talk to him all day. But every time I see him, he disappears. Well, he was acting a little fishy in class today. What do you mean? I mean, I walked in and he's on his phone. Dude, I told you your boss would love it. Right. And then he notices me and he's suddenly like, 
Oh, yeah, pork chops sound great for dinner. Bye. No. Why is that fishy? Because when I asked him who he was talking to, he said his mom. And I seriously doubt he calls his mom dude. Good point. That is fishy. Hmm. What is it? No. I don't know. I think Riley. Nah, I'm not going to say it. Say it, man. I'm not going to say it. Fine, whatever. Look, I've got my free period, which means I'm due for a nap at the janitor's closet. <laughs> Later. Boo! Ah, Ro, what are you doing here? Looking for you. Your mom said you'll be here. She did? Uh, well, I was just leaving. Hey, here is your chicken parmesan, sir. Sorry that took so long. What? I don't know what this is. I don't even know who you are. That's not mine. Yes, sir, Mr. Morrison. He knows your name. Lucky guess. I don't know him. What's going on, man? I know you're usually weird, but now you're crossing into scary. Me? I'm fine, totally. Hey, you know, there's this great movie playing at the mall. Lots of action, suspense. <laughs> Let's go see it. All right. Cool. Uh, you run ahead and grab the ticks. Riley, my man. With the cover boy? So it was you. Hey, get your camera ready. Sure. Silly. Of course not. He's only six weeks old. Well, you know Millers are geniuses. Yes, I know he's a Miller. And Millers are geniuses, but no, he's still not talking yet. Well, he should be. <laughs> he's talking, you're just not listening. Okay, fine. I love you, baby. I love you, too. Bye. Hey, Ro. Are you okay? Yeah, great. Other than the fact that my ex-best friend stabbed me in the back. Uh, something happened between you and Riley? He gave out personal information about me to some sleazy reporter. Ouch. Ouch doesn't even describe it. You know what? From now on, Riley's vapored to me. Well, that's drastic. Did you at least give him a chance to explain? Oh, yeah. Well, I tried to, but then he began screaming at tomato sauces in his eyes. What? A plate of spaghetti just flew out of my hands like he had a mind of his own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Romeo. I think your friendship is important to Riley. And as you get more popular, you're going to find yourself with a whole new set of friends who are only going to care about your fame, and not about you. Might want to find out what was going on with Riley before you lose him. Don't you think? Ange, why do you always ask questions that make me have to do something? It's mother's gift. Give me another piece. No, leave some for me. All right. What's going on in here? Uh, we just needed to find a peaceful place to eat a non-vegan snack. Yeah. When is Jody going back to college? You guys, I thought we made an agreement to support and appreciate your sister's efforts. Lunch is ready. <gasps> I have to eat another piece of tofu. I'm gonna scream. I agree. Aching for some bacon? Go ahead. It's okay to hate me. I don't hate you. Sure you do. Say it. You hate me. I don't hate you. What I did was inexcusable. You're my best friend, and I sold you out. It's all good, man. I wouldn't even talk to me if I were you. How can I make you forgive me? I'll do anything. You can be quiet. Done. Why'd you do it? Hal told me that when people become stars, they leave their friends behind. You believed them? No. Not until you had to cancel me out of going to Club Zero. I told you, foot surgery cost I them. know, I know. But you gotta admit, it sounded like a lame excuse. <laughs> Get it? Lame? <laughs> Seriously. I lost my mind. I thought maybe he was right. Right. If someone becomes a star, that's when they need their real friends. 
sorry about the spaghetti. <laughs> no biggie. Only took a couple washes to get it out of my hair. And it actually feels a lot softer now. Want to feel it? No. <laughs> okay. So what do we do now? I think Seattle music beat how is do some serious payback. <laughs> I'm talking about a plan so devious, so twisted, so crazy. That he'll never do this again. Where are we gonna get a plan like that? Well, gentlemen, you've come to the right place. Embarking on a plan such as this requires preparation. It takes thought, strategy, and insight. I need to get inside, Hal Campo said. I need to know what makes him tick. When we find his weakness, bam, we own it. Okay, well, how long would it take? A couple minutes. Okay, Riley, close your eyes and tell me everything you know about Hal Campo. Well, he likes to eat at the marina restaurant. Marina? Carries a lot of cash. It has a really bad case of athlete's foot. <laughs> Lou, athlete's foot. what does this have to do with anything? Ro, do I tell you how to rap? No. And you better not start. That's exactly my point. Now listen up. Riley, we're bringing in the heavy artillery for this one. Call up Myra. Ro, you know that boy band bass tone? Oh, yeah. Every time they come on the radio, I change the station. <laughs> well, that's too bad, because you're their newest member. Jody, we need to talk. Okay, but first, try some of my Brussels sprout stew. I'm gonna pass. Um, Jody, you know we appreciate you cooking for us. And it's so exciting seeing you getting all politically involved and everything. Isn't it? And tomorrow, I'm gonna take you all with me to the People Against Bulldozers March. You know I'm happy that you're finding things that you care about. But just because you do, it doesn't mean that we all share your passion. What? Listen, it's a great cause. You have every right to feel the way that you do. It's just hard to expect that everyone's going to agree with you. That's why beliefs are personal. I didn't realize I was pushing my beliefs down your throat. You were, along with massive amounts of tofu. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the corporate machine works. What? You're brainwashed. This whole family is brainwashed. Jody! Joking! <laughs> I'll chill out. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's go time. Laugh like I said something funny. <laughs> Laugh louder. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> Brack got a whiff of the cheese. Huh? You're the cheese. Well, Romeo, I'm sure you'll be very happy with this contract. Yes, I will. Even though I'm going to leave my bed, I'm very happy about it. in the cheese. <laughs> hey, you catch on quick. Oh, hey, Hal. Looking for Romeo. You flashed his picture recently? No. Say, what do you know about uh, Miles Fedorov? Are you kidding me? Everyone knows him. 
He manages that boy band bass tone. Really? Hmm. Tell me more. No. I'm done with you, Hal. Oh. Hello? Yeah. You're cordially invited to the premier party of bass tone. The rat has swallowed the cheese. <laughs> You know, you don't really need this anymore. Oh! Ooh! Jeez. Best of the West event planners, Romy Castrobaum speaking. Hi. This is Hal Campo with Seattle Music Beat Magazine. Never heard of them. Lady, I know. <clears throat> We're up and coming. All right, listen. I heard about the debut party in Los Angeles, Romeo Miller joining Bass Stone. Really like the cover of my magazine. I'm sorry, Mr. Crambo. <laughs> Campo. Puh. Puh. Because it's exclusive. There'll be so many big celebrities there that only the top entertainment journalists will be allowed at the party. Mr. Gambo. Campo! <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> Come on. Please? I mean, you don't understand. I mean, this is my chance to finally hit the big time. Oh, all right. I hate it when a reporter whines. There's a club in Los Angeles on Roslyn Road. 141. Yeah. Enter through the back alley. And tell the bouncer that you're from Mars. Mars. <laughs> I'm on the next plane. <laughs> yeah. Got <laughs> Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hi. I'm from Mars. Yeah, you and everybody else here. You're not getting in. But I've come all the way from Seattle. Just a second. Hal Campo here. Hey, Hal. This is Romeo. You know, I've been thanking all you've been hounding me, so I decided to give you a scoop. I'm way ahead of you. I'm already in Los Angeles, about to get into your debut party. You might say I scooped your scoop. Hal, <laughs> there's no party. What? You're at a science fiction convention. Bye, Al. Bye, Al. Have fun in Los Angeles. Adios. <laughs>